we're gonna make this perfume bottle right here in blender and you can use this for visualizing products or for making animations for your clients we're gonna move pretty quickly so if you want to learn more about the techniques that you're gonna see me use in this video I explained everything that I know about blender inside my blender course so you can check that out with the link in the description now let's get to work delete the default cube and instead you're going to add a circle and when you add the circle you're going to get this add circle menu down here where you're going to change the number of vertices from 32 to 36. the reason we're doing this is because we're going to heavily subdivide this object and we don't want to have too many polygons right now on this circle otherwise this might be a little bit more difficult to work with and the scene might also get slow all sorts of problems can come up if you have too many polygons now press f to fill this then press i to inset and that's going to kind of extrude this surface inwards you want to make it about half the size of the original circle and then you're going to extrude this up like this with e and the part that you extruded you want to scale down like this and this is going to be a little hole at the bottom of the perfume bottle i don't know why they do this but every bottle on earth has something like this going on this feature is going to make the whole object look a lot better once we add the glass material now take this edge loop and extrude it with e but press z to lift it up only on the z axis you want to make it just a little bit taller than it is wide like this now fill with f then inset with i now you're going to extrude this downwards a little bit like like this and now we're just starting to create the hole up here so we can make the chamber on the inside we're going to create some more objects up here later on so you can get the button and you can have the lid and all this other shit now extrude right click and scale this up and bring it close to the edges like this you want to try and make the distance between the outer part of the circle and the side here approximately the same as the distance between this surface and this surface up here now extrude this down to around here somewhere and you want to leave a little bit of a gap between these two surfaces now with control b you're going to bevel this scroll up a couple of times so it looks nice and smooth but don't go too far because again we are going to subdivide this later on with a subdivision surface modifier i'm going to adjust the z-axis position a little bit and now in edge select mode i'm going to use alt right click to select an edge loop like this then press shift g select similar face angles that's going to select all the sharp edges i'm also going to add these to the selection and with control b i'm going to bevel these edges but when i bevel these i get some clipping on the inside over here so i'm going to press c to prevent that move your cursor until these two bevels are connected and then click to confirm then in this little menu you're going to set the number of segments to two and the shape value of one now you're going to have a right angle on this bevel and this is effectively the same as adding some loop cuts around the corner like this this is really important because in a second we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier and if you don't have supporting geometry it's just going to be way too molten like this whereas if we do have supporting geometry you can see these corners get a little bit sharper so that's why we're going to select all these edges like this and bevel them with control b you might want to make the bevels a little bit larger down here at the bottom because you want this part to be nice and smooth now if you look down here at the bottom you're going to see that there's this kind of flower shape and the reason you have this is because this is what happens when you have an end gone or a face with more than four edges around the sides and you apply a subdivision surface modifier blender doesn't know what to do so it gives you this you don't want this because it doesn't look good and when you add a glass material it's going to look like shit so even though this effect is reduced when we bevel this it's still there you can still kind of see this distortion and it's going to be very visible when we add the glass material so we're going to go over to the bottom and select this face press x to delete faces now select this edge loop and go up here to face grid fill it might be a little bit angled like this so you want to adjust the offset here to make sure it's aligned with the world axes and now since you have quads only you don't have any angons anymore now this is going to be a lot cleaner you probably want to do the same thing over here on the inside so first we're going to inset this then delete the face then select this face grid fill adjust the offset a little bit and now you're good to go next we're going to add a couple of shapes up here at the top so we can add the button so select this edge loop around here with alt right click then shift s cursor to select it to place the 3d cursor on top of this hole now with shift a you're going to add another circle with 16 vertices scale that down to around this size and keep in mind that this is going to be the same width as the cap on top later on fill with f extrude up a little bit like this inset with i then extrude again then inset with i again and now you're going to extrude this down a little bit and after you do that press x to delete faces the reason we're deleting this is because again we're going to use a subdivision surface modifier here later on and i don't want to have to bevel this inner edge i don't want to have to use a grid fill down here i don't need this geometry nobody can see it anyway so i'm just going to delete it now i'm going to select this circle down here at the bottom of the hole shift the right click and scale it down just a little bit then you're going to extrude this up on the z-axis and this is going to be the button now you're going to select this face loop over here and press p to separate by selection now take two opposite vertices from the top like this go up here and activate proportional editing set the fall off to sharp press g and scroll down to make sure that your area of influence is large enough 
and now just lift this up a little bit on the z-axis like this this is just gonna create this little curve at the top which is typical for buttons on perfumes i guess the purpose of this thing is so you can spray that shit down a little bit more accurately because you can get a better grip i don't know why that's there but it's there so we're gonna make it then take this circle down here and scale it to zero on the z-axis just to make this part straight and also make sure that it's inside this hole right here. Now select this edge loop, go up here to face, grid fill. The span is going to be four and we're gonna adjust the offset. I don't like how we got a bit of a bump here, so I'm gonna try and straighten this out. Go up here to edit, preferences, add-ons, type in loop tools and click on this box right here. If you're using Blender 4.2, then this is not gonna work. You're gonna have to download this add-on. I don't know why they fuck this up. They always do something like this when they update Blender. That's why I don't update Blender no more. But anyway, if you're smart and you're still using Blender 4.1, then you're gonna have your loop tools so so you can follow along select this edge loop here and go to w loop tools g stretch set the method here to spread do the same thing for these next two edge loops over here now select these edges around the top Control b to bevel them you want to make this bevel a little bit wider because this edge is supposed to be a bit softer and now with Control r you're going to add a couple of loop cuts here so that you have square faces on the side once you do that you're going to go over here to the modifiers tab and press Control a to apply the subdivision surface modifier now we have some more geometry which we're going to use to create a little hole the perfume comes out of so find the middle of this button like this and select a 4x4 surface like this then press i to inset and after that you're going to go to w loop tool circle uncheck flatten we're going to scale this surface down a little bit further now inset this inner surface with i again then again go to w loop tool circle this part has to be extruded backwards and once you extrude this you're going to delete the faces at the bottom select this circular surface and also select everything on the inside press i to inset and only inset this slightly like this now you can take this face loop over here and extrude that backwards and again you're going to delete the faces at the bottom and now once again you're going to select all the sharp edges like this also select the edges on the inside here Control b to bevel them and even though we're not going to add any more subdivision surface to this we're beveling this because we're going to use smooth shading and when you use smooth shading you want to use bevels to contain the smooth shading if you don't have bevels this is what the smooth shading is going to look like as you can see it's an atrocity but if we bevel this then you can see it looks a lot better also take this shape and make sure to select all the sharp edge loops and bevel those as well you're gonna notice that the shade on this object is a little bit different than this one this is because the normals are inverted basically the faces are facing inwards blender doesn't know what the inside of the object is and it doesn't know what the outside of the object is so we're gonna tell him to rethink this select this object go to edit mode select everything with a press Control n as you can see down here now he recalculated the normals so now he got his shit together now the object looks fine we also have to do the same thing on this one up here object shade smooth also object shade smooth on the bottle here now now select the button and select the neck, then select the bottle, then press Ctrl P, set parent to object. Now when you move the bottle, the other objects are going to move as well. Next we're going to make the cap. To create the cap with Shift A we're going to add a new cube. Then press Ctrl 3 to subdivide this three times. Then with Ctrl A, you're going to apply this modifier. Go to Add Modifier, Deform, Add a Cast Modifier. Set the factor here to 1. Apply this modifier as well. Now in Edit Mode, you're going to use your Box Select tool with B to delete half of this cube. Delete all this geometry. Now scale this down until it's the same size as this thing out here. You can go to Top View with 7 to make sure that you got the exact same size. We're going to lift it up to around here somewhere. Then take this edge loop and extrude it down on the Z axis until you reach the bottom. I'm happy with this size so now we're going to lift this up on the z-axis fill this with f inset with i extrude upward just a little bit now we're going to inset this with i again but we got to make sure that this next hole is going to be the same size as this button right here so go to top view go to wireframe view then press i to inset and you can see we have to align it with this circle that you can see in the background here now you can extrude this up with e and as you can see if we lower this down it fits pretty well with Control r we're going to add three or four loop cuts here add a new loop cut to each segment like this and push it all the way to the side in face select mode use alt right click to select this gz 0.025 shift alt right click to add this part of the selection gz 0.025 do the same thing one more time over here at the end we added a loop cut here as well so we get an extra face loop here but we're not going to lift this one up just select everything and press m merge by distance Control n to correct the normals now select this edge loop shift g select similar face angles Control b to bevel all the sharp edges now go to object shade smooth and once again we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier to make this nicer and now we can lower this down and cover up the button let's also quickly put together the label here's how you do that we're about to apply the subdivision surface modifier which cannot be undone after a couple of steps so in case we fuck something up we're gonna duplicate this with shift D move it over here to the side now we have a backup so we can bring this back select this one and go to edit mode and with control R we're gonna add four loop cuts so we have square faces over here 
Now apply the subdivision surface modifier. We're gonna go to front view and in edge select mode, we're going to select a couple of edges like this. Make sure that this is aligned with the middle. We got four edges on this side and four on this side. Now use control plus to expand the selection. This is going to be the label. Press shift D to duplicate and right click to snap it back then P to separate by selection. Now this is a separate object. So now you're gonna select this, press alt E, extrude faces along normals and just push this outwards a little bit. Now switch to vertex select mode and press control I to invert the selection. Now you have the surface on the inside selected. You're going to press X delete faces because you don't need this surface. Now in face select mode, select this control shift, right click here, go up here to select, select loops, select a boundary loop. That's going to leave only the outer edge selected and you're going to press control E mark seam. That's going to mark a seam around this surface so you can unwrap it more easily. Select the sharp edges like this. Also go control E mark sharp. Now the shading is sharp on these edges here, but it's smooth on the surface in the front here. Select the label, select the bottle, control B parent to the bottle. Next, we're going to add a little tube to the inside of the bottle. This is a very important detail. Lift up the cap, then lift up these two buttons. Select an edge loop over here and press shift S to snap the cursor right there. With shift A, you're gonna to go to curve and add a new path curve. Rotate this by 90 degrees around the Y axis so it's vertical. Scale it down a little bit. You can delete the two vertices at the top, then go to side view, lower this down a little bit, move this down here and move this vertex down here to the bottom. You can extrude this and take it down even further. This is gonna be a little straw that sucks the liquid from the bottom of the perfume bottle and it sprays it out into the world. It's supposed to be shaped something like this. Make sure that it's very close to the bottom. Then go over here to the curve properties in this little menu over here. Open up the geometry menu find where it says bevel set the depth to 0.01 let's go a little bit higher with 0.03 that looks about right so now you're going to go up here to object convert to mesh select everything press alt e extrude faces along normals and extrude this inwards like this select this sharp edge shift g select similar face angles Control e mark sharp now you got this little tube it will probably be a good idea to also make a hole on the inside over here in case we're going to be able to see this in the render. Bevel these edges, lift this tube up to this hole. You can parent this to the button. Now lower the button, then lower the cap. Next, we're going to make the materials. First, let's add the very basic material. Switch over to the shading workspace, go to material preview, click on the cap, add a new material here. You're gonna name this plastic. This just has to be black. We're gonna reduce the roughness a little bit as well. Lift up the cap, select the two buttons, then select the cap, press control L and click on link materials. Now they're gonna share the same material. So if you change this one, it's gonna change on all of them. Then select the body of the perfume, click on new over here. You're gonna name this glass, select this node and delete it with X. With Shift A, you're gonna search for Glass BSDF. Click on that, place it right here, plug this in the surface, set the roughness to 0.01. It's not transparent yet, but when you switch the cycles, it is going to be transparent. You can apply the same glass material to the tube on the inside. And now let me show you how to make the label. You're gonna to go to Google and type in Canva. Click on the first link right here. This is the easiest graphic design program that you've ever seen in your life. You might have to make an account, but it's completely free and it takes you 11 seconds. Click on Create a Design, pick Custom Size, Set the width to 2048, set the height to 1024, create a new design. Now on the left side, click on text, add a text box, open up the font box and find this one called Montserrat. It just looks a little bit fancier. The name of our perfume is going to be Aryan Race. Hold down Alt and make this a lot larger like this. Select the text box and duplicate it up here. Bring it up to here somewhere, make sure it's aligned. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. Let's name this Bolivia. Then duplicate this text box, align it over here with the bottom. Double click down here and we're gonna select everything and replace this text with something that you would find on a perfume bottle. We're gonna make everything a little bit bigger like this. Now, if you want to, you can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the colors, you can make this text bold if you want to, but we're going to keep it simple. So now go over here to file, click on download, click on download again. I don't know why you got to do it twice. Now this is going to be in your downloads folder. Now go to blender, add a new material to the label. We're going to name this label in this material with shift a, we're going to search for and add a image texture node. Click on open right here and locate the image which you just downloaded. Plug this into base color. Set this window down here to UV editor. Now select this, go to face select mode, deselect everything. Press L to select the surface in the front. U, unwrap. Over here, you're gonna have to adjust the UV map. So we're gonna rotate this by 90 degrees. 
place it over the text, make sure that it's centered, scale it up a little bit. And now your perfume bottle is ready. You can make any other perfume bottle using the same technique. If you want to see how I put together this whole environment and how I built the animation and how I made the particles and everything else, I just added a new section to my Blender course, which explains all of this. So you can go check that out. There's over a hundred other tutorials included in that course. You're also going to get access to my Blender ebook where all the techniques that you saw me use here are going to be explained. So go check that out, but at least like the damn video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one.